Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home. In today's 4K review, we're going to dive into the latest 4K release from Arrow Video, at least when it comes to the US market, and that is True Romance here in this limited edition box set. So we're going to talk about the visual quality, the audio quality. I'll go over all of the packaging and special features options and let you guys know whether or not this one's worth adding to your collection. If you've been enjoying the 4K reviews, if you want more 4K reviews, Blu-ray reviews, collecting tips and tricks, and great interviews in my podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Now let's jump right into the review. So True Romance comes here to 4K from Arrow Video with a brand new 4K transfer of both the theatrical and director's cut of the movie. These were restored from the original camera negatives and it was done by Arrow Films. So this was actually available in the UK earlier than it was available in the US, so many of you may have imported this already. I waited to get the US version, but this was a pretty big undertaking by Arrow to do both director's cut and theatrical cut. Now, if you don't know the movie, it is a classic. It is directed by Tony Scott, great director, tons of amazing action movies under his belt, and it was written by Quentin Tarantino. So, it's got quite the pedigree, also has a great cast that includes Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette, Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Gary Oldman, Brad Pitt, and Christopher Walken. They all have really unique parts and small scenes and different kind of characters they play, but it's a really fun movie. It's probably as close to a Tarantino type movie as you could get without it actually being directed by Tarantino considering he had written the script for this. It's right up your alley if you like that sort of early 90s Tarantino with Tony Scott's kind of visual aesthetic. So speaking of Tony Scott's visual aesthetic, as you know if you know Tony Scott movies, he films things a little bit rough. He, he likes a gritty look and while this isn't um, as stylistic as maybe like a natural born killers, not his movie, but just something that I compare true romance to. It's not that stylistic and it's not as gritty as man on fire. It's, you know, somewhere in between, but the new 4k scan here looks pretty good. There are some pretty heavy grain moments. Again, that's going to be stylistic choices by Tony Scott and his team. He does like a gritty kind of grainy look and feel to his movies. So it's not going to be the cleanest picture you've ever seen. It's not going to be the cleanest 4k transfer you've ever seen but i think it is a nice upgrade over the blu-ray and the 4k detail in this new 4k scan all the way back to the original negative that is clearly a big boost and a big jump forward over what was previously out there on blu-ray or dvd now this release has both dolby vision and hdr 10 so no matter which format you can use you'll have an option for either one. They're pretty similar. In this case, the color mapping remains pretty similar. Dolby Vision might give you a little bit more highlight. It might give you a little bit more on the black levels. I, I, it's really hard to tell. I honestly think that HDR10 is just as good as, as most times what I see in Dolby Vision. And it, it looks really good here. The highlights are increased over what the Blu-ray gave us. The black levels are really good. Contrast is great. Brightness is much improved. And it kind of gives it a more natural look and feel, which HDR also does a great job of they're supposed to be more naturalistic colors more lifelike and it definitely looks that way here even though it still has tony scott's sort of visual aesthetic and that touch to it his style um it's less stylized with hdr and i'm not sure you know he's obviously not with us anymore but if he would have approved this i don't know but i think arrow did a good job maintaining his original vision to their best ability while also making use of the new technology and giving us a really clean scan so i was impressed with the visuals it's certainly an upgrade over what blu-ray copies were available and a lot of those were older earlier blu-rays nothing too great honestly true romance had been out of print for a while on blu-ray so this is great to get it on 4k and the 4k scan is excellent i'd give it a four and a half out of five um but keep in mind that that's within a, a Tony Scott scoring. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking of his style and I'm taking that into account. Compared to other 4Ks, it's probably more like a four out of five. Now the audio included here is also really cool because you get two options. You either have the original uncompressed stereo audio, which is nice and front heavy, pretty good soundtrack. I actually really liked the stereo sound when I tried that out, but you also have the DTS HD 5.1 surround sound option. So again, you want to be a purist, go for that stereo sound. You want to play with your surround sound system and get a little bit more effects in the, in the surround speakers, go for the 5.1. But that stereo one is pretty good. That's how it was originally mixed. That's how it was originally played. Um, I think it 
it works, but the surround sound gives you a little bit extra. It gives you more movement, obviously, than a two-channel track. So it'll be up to you. Decide for your room, your space, your setup, but they're both great, and I love that Arrow gave us both options. So if you're buying Arrow Video Limited Editions, you probably know that they go for a pretty penny. They're not cheap, but this is why. The packaging here comes in a really nice hard cardboard slip cover. None of the cheap cardboard stuff. Great artwork on the front, really cool artwork and a little bit of synopsis on the back about the movie. Then on the inside you get this cool booklet. Arrow Video always does a good job in the booklets. This one is roughly 60 pages long, 58, 60 pages. Has tons of cool behind the scenes. It has essays. It has really nice shots behind the movie. Um, a lot of stuff if you're into this movie that you could read about Tony Scott, about the making of the movie. And then it does come with a double-sided poster which has both the um, theatrical artwork here and the new artwork um, in the slipcover also within, or I should say the, the artwork within the 4K case. As always, this is reversible. So this is the new artwork that was commissioned. You can take that art out, flip it around, you get the original artwork. On the inside, you also get some uh, postcards, some like theater cards, so that's cool. And then you get the 4K disc here with some nice disc art. No digital copy, no Blu-ray. This is purely just 4K, but the total package is pretty nice with the reversible art, the poster, the booklet, you name it, Arrow Video puts it in these releases. Now, the special features are another reason why Arrow Video's titles are a little bit more pricey, but wait till you hear what's on this because they super load all of their releases with special features. Now on this set, obviously we have all the packaging, the booklet with essays, we've got an oral history, um, Edgar Wright's 2012 eulogy for Tony Scott, which is pretty cool. You get all those posters and, and postcards, but here you go. You've got audio commentary by director Tony Scott. You've got an audio commentary by writer Quentin Tarantino, audio commentary from Christian Slater and Patricia Arquette, audio commentary by critic Tim Lucas, then you have select scene commentaries by Dennis Hopper, Val Kilmer, Brad Pitt, and Michael Rappaport. You've got a brand new scene uh, commentary with Saul Rubinick and Bronson Pinchot. Interview with the costume designers, you get an interview with the co-editor, a new interview with the co-composers, a new interview with Larry Taylor, who was the author of Tony Scott's biography. You've got deleted scenes with commentary by Tony Scott. You've got alternate endings with commentaries by Tony Scott and Tarantino. You've got electronic press kits, behind the scenes footage, and interviews with the entire cast, plus trailers, TV spots, and image galleries. So if you like this movie, I don't think there's a single person who worked on this movie or who was in this movie that they didn't manage to get a commentary from. You've got Scott and Tarantino on a bunch of stuff. You've got all the stars. You've got all the co-stars and their scenes. You've got Brad Pitt, Christopher Walken, Patricia Arquette, Christian Slater, Tony Scott, Quentin Tarantino. I mean, this is a who's who of Hollywood, right? It's a crazy, crazy list of special features. And if you like this movie and you really want to dive into some behind the scenes stuff or really dive into commentaries, you're going to have hours and hours and hours of bonus content to enjoy. So overall, this probably comes as no surprise because I do love Arrow Video and what they're doing, but they do great work and they put together great packages for collectors and fans in true romance is no exception. This is the best this movie's ever looked. It's the best it's ever sounded. I love that they give you audio options. I love that they rescanned both theatrical and director's cuts. I love the packaging. I love the poster, the booklet, all the special features. It's a great, great release from Arrow Video, and it's certainly a must-have for collectors. So I would highly recommend grabbing this. AV quality is great. Packaging is great. The whole nine yards, everything about this set is well worth having in your collection. So I'll leave a link to this box set in the description if you want to pay for the limited edition set. That's the only way to guarantee you get this slip box, poster, the booklet, all that fun stuff. But most likely with Arrow Video, in a few months, once the limited edition sells out, they'll do a standard edition release of True Romance. It's, it's not always a guarantee because of rights, but it's a pretty good chance there'll be a standard edition, which will be maybe like 10 to $15 cheaper. So that's also an option, and you could purchase that in a couple of months or a few months when that's available. But I'll leave a link to the limited edition box set because if you're a true collector and a big fan of this movie specifically, this is going to be well worth your money. So thanks for watching this review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have more reviews coming. Uh, you'll probably notice the shelves behind me are a little empty. That's because I am purging some of my collection, which will be an interesting topic to talk about. I've been kind of removing things and putting stuff away 
putting stuff in a sell or trade in pile. I've been really kind of trying to curate the collection uh, after some conversations I've had with other collectors on the podcast. It got me thinking I should do that myself. So I've started to do it. You're going to see some videos on that, plus plenty more 4K reviews, lots of podcast interviews with great people coming up. So subscribe for all that. Make sure you're following on social media and check out all the links in the description for partners and ways you can support them and me and the channel and my content. So I appreciate you all watching. Have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, stay healthy out there, and I will talk to you soon.